Hey, so this is Scott. And this is Jay. And this is Scott and Jay Show, and it's Saturday, 32 degrees in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. And Beautiful. big news. Uh, the Academy Awards next tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, but uh, 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 August Osage County, I think Julia Roberts is up for an Academy Award. I don't think it's up for anything. Else. I wonder if they're going to cuss in the Oscars acceptance speech like they did the movie. Oh, I don't know. Have you seen the movie? I have not, but uh, I've been told to avoid his it's profanity laced. Um, oh, yeah. They dropped the F bomb like a hundred times in the first five minutes. Hmm. So, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> you know, because uh, we cuss so much in our home. Right. Well, we you do. know, I'll tell you. Yesterday, I won't say who, but uh, I heard that a bus had to turn around and come back to school three times this week because one of the kids used the F word so much that the driver just turned around and brought him back to school. Would that have happened if you? Uh, what would happen if you would have used it like once? <laughs> I think they would have pulled the bus over and just run over you. Me so hard, and my parents would have said, "Hang on, yeah, I'm gonna stand in line. <laughs> I'll be right there. Yeah, just wait, yeah. Wait till you get home. You just think you've been slammed. Before. Yeah, wait till you get home, man. That's a spank. But anyway, we were really gonna get involved in. That's kind of sad, so anyway. I hope Julia Roberts gets it, just for the local connection. Yeah, and uh, Meryl Streep is also up for something. Is she? Yeah. So she'll probably get it. Yeah. So I heard the... the perennial uh, Oscar favorite. Yeah, I heard the uh, the movie with Liam Neeson that's out now. Oh, uh, um, non-stop or non-stop, something? Non-stop, yeah. I heard that's a stink fest. Really? Yeah. And that um, it depicts a uh, a military person disgruntled with the way the America is going, and so he's going to blow up the plane, which is uh, so unlike what our military guys would do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There's going to be a few militants like. McVeigh that go crazy, but for the most part, I just don't see it happening with a good majority, 99.99% of our military out there trying to overthrow the government. I will say that a good military movie to see, uh, Lone Survivor, Oh yeah, I tough one to watch, uh, but it really uh, shows the heroism and the can-do <clears throat> attitude of the... Uh, true story. Yeah, true story. So, lone survivor. Yes, uh, the son of son of God comes out this weekend. What? The son of God. The uh, makers of the uh, Bible movie. Oh uh, yeah. Released the Son of God movie, and so that will be uh, that's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, they get same guy that played Jesus in the uh, in the Bible for Serious. for eighty. The series. Uh, he's also going to be in the movie. So is that on theaters or on TV? It'll be in theaters. Okay. <clears throat> and then uh, the movie Noah comes out. Uh, yeah. I would say with the uh, Russell. Oh, you yeah. would. Okay. Noah. That's got some pretty poor reviews. It basically shows Noah as a drunkard and that um, he's a huge environmentalist. <laughs> Worried about global warming and overpopulation. <laughs> and that's why he saved all the animals. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so that's Hollywood's attempt to be religious. Yeah. Um, let's see, the nominees for the best movie. Uh, oh, come on. I know that... Uh, Captain Phillips is one of them. Sandra Bullock is up for something. Yeah, for Gravity. Yeah, right. she, she did a great job yeah. grunting and, and screaming in that movie. Dodging. Dodging. Stuff that wasn't there. Gravity's up for the best CGI. picture. Yeah. Her... Nebraska, Philomena, her, her, really, that's interesting, 12 Years a Slave, The Wolf of Wall Street, and Dallas Buyers Club, and American Hustle. I, I haven't seen Nebraska, but I heard that that was really good. Yeah, I'm, I just, I'm, I'm not a big that. movie watcher. 
I'd like to see that, actually. So we'll see. But so I did see hoping... Captain Phillips. You, you suggested Captain Phillips. Yeah. That was incredible. That was yeah. a good ride. Yeah. And, and Gravity was an incredible ride. Right. So, you know, you can't go wrong with either one of those. No. Um, Tom Hanks, always. Yeah. And then, um, the, let's see, animated feature... I'm going to say Frozen gets it in that one. Because um, there's, so there's so many good animated films out there. Well, yeah. actually, there was a couple. Pretty uh, The Wind Rises, I think, was going to be a pretty good one. I didn't see the others. And then the best, uh, best actor, let's see here. Christian Bale. Oh, okay. American Hustle. Yeah. Bruce Dern. Nebraska. Did you see that? Nebraska? Either one. No, Nebraska no. or American no, Hustle? No. Leonardo DiCaprio and the Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, somebody. See that one? No. 12 Years a Slave. And what just happened to my phone? Here. I, I know. It is. <laughs> 12 Years a Slave. What's that one all about? guy that was a slave for, I don't know, probably 12 years or something. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for clarifying. Um, so, so if, anyway. I sit, if I sit closer to you like that, we block the sun and the picture's better. By the way. Or what if we do this? No, it's too dark. Not better? Yeah, lighten this up. Or just lighten this up. Ah, there we go. There we are. Okay. Now when I do this, it really makes it nice. <laughs> So, um, your anniversary is tomorrow? Anniversary is tomorrow. Big 18, 18 glorious years yeah. with a beautiful bride. So, you're going to, uh, where are you going and where are you staying? Well, what's your room number? So, <laughs> since you haven't been publishing these, I guess I can say we're going to Kansas City. <laughs> I haven't told my wife where we're going yet. Because yeah. I said, okay, where do you want to go? And she goes, oh, I don't know. And I said, do you want me to do it all and just surprise you? And she said, yeah. So I'm doing it all and surprising her. We're going to stay at the historic downtown Hotel Phillips. Um, just a beautiful 1930s uh, hotel and uh, in, the, in the heart of downtown in the uh, Power and Light District. If you're familiar with Kansas City, it's a, it's a really cool um, art deco, artsy type area. Kind of um, artsy, artsy. Yeah, yeah kind of pretty thing. much. There's a lot of there's a, uh, a jazz bar there that they're going to have some live music and so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Um, Kansas City was was big in the jazz scene back then, so yeah. back in the in the 30s when that hotel was built. I'm glad you didn't say back in the day. I'm really, yeah, I'm really glad you didn't say back in the day. I'm really back tired of that phrase. Yeah. Back in the day, what is the day? We used to use that phrase a lot back in the day. Back yeah. in the day. Yeah. yeah. And it's actually true. We did use that phrase, and now it truly is back in the day when we started using back in the day. Just shows you how far we've progressed. Yeah. So, so much. I've discovered Whole Foods. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You like it? I really wish we had something worthwhile like that in Marsville. Right. Juge is good, but it's it's not a um, doesn't have fresh produce. Debt. Yeah, doesn't have the dab, doesn't have the fresh produce. Nobody in town has the produce like we ha- like the, they have at uh, Whole Foods. Uh, variety, variety, um, the organic everything. Yeah, it's great. So you've been making a lot of trips to Tulsa then. Yeah, unfortunately. So what's so, your uh, favorite? Uh, Food from Whole Foods. Um, Raisin Bran. No, I would have to say right now it's it's been the uh, the fruit and vegetables have yeah. been my favorites. Uh, just because they're so fresh. Yeah. Um, you go in there and it's just absolutely gorgeous with all the colors. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So we're gonna watch the Oscars tomorrow. Am I gonna watch the Oscars tomorrow? Um, I've got financial peace to teach, oh, right. and so, darn, I'm not going to be able to watch it. Yeah. Well, there you go. It, even though the class gets over at 7.30, I still don't think I'm going to be able to watch it. 
even though I'm probably going to be at home by 8 and be watching TV, I still don't think my TV will even turn the TV off. Hmm. We'll probably watch it. Because we all like there's watch it. maybe an ounce of me that cares, but beyond that ounce, I could, I'm probably going to lose it by tomorrow anyway. That so, ounce. Yeah. So I probably won't care. So I spoke on that stage, and I told you, I told you about that. Yeah, I say every year. Cool. Yeah, every year I gotta mention to my wife. Yeah. Yeah. When we're watching the Oscars. Hey, I was on stage there one time. Not during the Oscars, but at a separate event. Yeah. So live at the Kodak Theater. That was cool. That is cool. Yeah. So speaking of theaters, uh, I'm taking my daughter to with with the uh, choir. Oh. Um, they're going to uh, Tennessee. They're going to sing at the Grand Ole Opry. Well, they are. Yes. They're going to sing. Uh, some songs that I have not heard. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I mean, I might have heard them before, but <coughs> she sings them, but I'm usually at work when she's practicing, so I, I don't really care. Um, and then, uh, we're also going to go sing... We're going to go sing, uh, or she's going to sing the national anthem. The choir is going to sing the national anthem at a uh, Predators hockey game. Sweet. So I'm looking forward and to that. They have like an F-14 flyover. You know. Yeah, but you can't see an F-14 in something. So, uh, looking forward to uh, to cracking out my Chicago Blackhawks sweater. Hockey sweater. Now, if you could just imagine the F-14 is flying over. And then the uh, buzzer. The, the, yeah. The goals and everybody cheering. Yeah. yeah. That would be cool. That'll be us. Yeah. That would be cool. So you're going. I'm going. Yeah. I'm going mainly for the game. When I heard they are going to a hockey game, I'm like, $450 to go see a hockey game. Yeah. And hang around the bunch of teams. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, uh, I we some enjoy good father daughter time. We enjoy that, and, and uh, one of my friends from church is going to. He's taking his daughter, so uh, we're gonna hang out and buddy. Yeah, that's good. And have a snore fest in our hotel room because apparently he snores probably a lot of me. Oh. You guys are going to share a room? Right. Yeah. Because, so, you know, it's cheaper that way. Yeah. Um, Those aren't pillows. <laughs> We're not going to share the same <laughs> bed. <laughs> Do I know you? Did you catch the Bears game on Sunday? Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. And then there's Candace, you know. Everybody say hi to Candace. Hi, Candace. So there she is. Yes. There's Kendall. So we're here live at Scott and Jay's show. That's right. So here yep. live at Starbucks Shout Studios. Out. So anything else before we go too long and then we can't upload this one either? Um, oh, that story I was telling you about earlier. Oh, yeah, where you oh, went to, for that, uh, uh, where you were going in for, what was that? It was like a, um, your, uh, what is it, where they have a cut that scope? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that was brutal. So all of a sudden, I'm sitting there at the table, and then 